Well, the saying goes, there's no honor among thieves. Still, this crime, it was hard to believe. Good evening, I'm Jacqueline Allen. And I'm Tom Mustin. Thanks for joining us tonight. Now, this morning, we learned someone had stolen $10,000 worth of gear and medical equipment from a special baseball league here in Denver. Now, the teams are made up of children with disabilities. But after Denver 7's Nicole Brady started reporting on it, let's just say what you did next restores our faith in good people. You would never know from the cheering out here today that this league less than two days ago had almost all of their equipment stolen. Now they've gotten a lot of that equipment donated back to them and something more. Better up. For the love of the game and the love of these kids and adults, it's the reason the Miracle League of Metro Denver is out here every Saturday morning. I mean, that's the best thing about these kids is and the families. Everybody's so upbeat. Everybody cheers for everybody. Everybody's kind of in this together. These moments were nearly stolen from the families after someone broke into the league's trailer in Littleton. They actually cut through a fence to get to it. They took, um, you know, bats, balls, gloves. Uh, they took a defibrillator. They took a PA system. It's ironic that they left the cash box and took all the medical supplies and bats. Not smart criminals, but certainly cruel. Heathens was my first thought because someone that would steal such basic things that these kids need to have fun every weekend is really disheartening. But it only took a Facebook post to get people mobilized. Parents bought new concessions and rounded up equipment. And as word spread, strangers even came out before today's game to donate whatever they had. It, it saddened me this morning and I went, well, shoot, I just live right down the street. I got all this extra equipment. Let's go. Dylan, you're on deck. Someone even brought out a PA system so the players can hear their names called. I just had started and I really like it. Try to swing really hard. And it's really fun. And so the games went on. Everyone got a hit, rounded the bases, and reunited with their friends. They may have got some equipment, they may have got some things, but they never will take the hearts of these kids. Okay. Nicole Brady, Denver 7. A lot of great people out there. The don donations have continued throughout the day. Dick's Sporting Goods donated 18 boxes of equipment, and Artisan Construction took care of the trailer damage and put on a new lock. If you'd like to donate or get involved with the league, we posted that link on our website. And